Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. When we last left off, we were making our way through this horrible, ungodly feast hall with these fat, slovenly, piggish, disgusting creatures. Oh god. Oh dear god. Nope. 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 Oh god. Ah! Ah! You fat lummox! Almost makes me wonder if the implication is that I'm not supposed to be here. That doesn't make any sense, because where else would I go? Oh, I bounce off his fat... His fat buttocks? Aha! There you go. And make a run for it. My god, look at him just slurping her along the floor there like that. Yeah, you and your stubby arms. God, you make me sick. If you're, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Food is good and all, and you should eat as much of it. Oh, God. It's him again. Did he see me? Okay. Well, I failed this segment already. I can tell that much. I know a feeling this time. Okay. So we'll have to go back for that later. Okay. Can I climb up here? Oh god, he heard me. Wait. Wait, can I climb this? No, I can't. Okay. I had to try. I had to try. Alright. So, what we gotta do instead is just run. And make sure, if we can, that he doesn't find me. What's that that is in the toilet there? Someone leave a ham in the toilet. Like, are you people that disgusting that you leave hams in toilets? Like, my goodness. Ham in the toilet. Ugh. Alright. Well, we're stuck in here now. Alright. I don't know what that did for me. Oh, I do hope that, uh... Ugh. Yeah, I probably don't want to climb in there anyway. That, that, that always disgusts me. You ever go into a public washroom and then you find that, uh, like, in every single one of the stalls, no one is flushed? That just... It grinds my gears. Oh dear, how do I get out of here? Or do I just push the door open? Is it that simple? No, it is not that simple. Life is never that simple. Why can't it not be that simple? Alright, what do I do? Let's think about this. Well, I could just throw a toilet paper roll at the door. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's real good. You know what? Let's grab this. This can here, and we'll just smash the window. Nothing like a bit of... A bit of rampant vandalism in order to uh, get what you want in life. There is something up there, though. Wait a minute. Aw, oh, that is even more sick! There's someone who's peeping behind the window! Also, we've probably just shattered our feet. Like, that is disgusting! Like, come on! Have you people no decency? Like, there's someone who just sits and watches people use the... Well, then again, fortunately that mirror is not placed in a fashion that would actually really let you see anything. But, but still, you people are sick! You people are sick! I stand by that statement. And I shall never, never not stand by that statement. Oh my. That's the chef again. He's, uh, he's beating his meat over there. Is, uh, probably more ham or pork or whatever the mystery meat of the day is. This, this whole situation disturbs me immensely. Uh, so go smash the mother statue again and uh, then hit the elevator there we go yeah he, he's too busy to notice me all right well this is looking slightly more sophisticated I mean there's a dish I mean I like those disgusting cretins downstairs need it they don't need dishes they just you just throw it in their face and they'll they'll uh They'll do their thing. I, uh, 
And I can climb it. I can't really get any further, it would seem. Alright. I kind of wanted to see if there was anything I could do there. I'm hearing more, uh... More Cretinous activity going on. Oh my good god! What the hell's going on in there? Is that like a... The feast has turned into a giant orgy! Elusive. I don't know why I got the elusive achievement. I haven't been that elusive. Oh my god! The people are sick! Like, come on! Like, you're flopping all over each other, first of all. And then... Oh. Wait. Oh, I was running down the stairs. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I got confused there for a second because it didn't look like I was moving. Seriously, like, my god. What is wrong with these people? Like, they're just... They're there. And they're like, oh, watch this food! I need more food! We haven't had enough food in gratuitous sex! I mean, I have to assume that's what these people are doing in this giant orgy. Giant flippity floppity pit. Seriously, you people dis absolutely disgust me. I just want to throw that out there. Oh my god. Oh my god, you people are like... They can't even be bothered to actually like properly walk. That's how lazy they are. Oh my goodness. Oh god. You, oh my god, they're just going on the... Going on the... Oh god. I'll be honest, I, I, I feel bad for... For Tubbs McGee down there, who just fell to his death, but that's what rampant gluttony is gonna get you. Oh god, you kidding me? You're hungry again after all, like we after all that food we passed? Oh dear. Here, light a light a light. Light a little light and toss it into the future. You know, I just noticed, and I probably haven't been paying much attention, but these little panels, uh, they show it. That's what we are. We're on that little uh little tubbly wubbly thing there. It's, uh, belching horrific amounts of smoke. Oh dear. It also occurs to me, when we're wearing the Scarecrow mask, we look a little tiny winesy bit like, uh, like the gnomes, don't we? Just a little bit. wonder if we can unlock a gnome mask. Hi there, gnome buddy. I'm hungry. Are you gonna share your sausage with me? Thank you. I appreciate that. For the love of God, don't eat the, uh, don't eat the gnome. I feel like there's going to be a horrific plot twist where we eat the gnome instead of... Oh, no. No! He was offering you the sausage! Why? Why, Six? Why? You're, they're never going to trust you again. You had a perfectly good sausage. He was offering you the sausage. Why? Ugh, oh, man. Ma, it does things to you, man. It does things to you. But now the gnomes are never gonna trust me. They were my friends. They were my friends, goddammit! Wait, mother, come back! I wanna- I wanna- I wanna come back. Mother? Mother? Damn it, mother, why have you forsaken me? I- I don't wanna be on my own anymore. I found out that it's a lot harder than it looks. You know what? Screw you, mother. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Can't be bothered to love me. The gnome. The gnome was her friend. Why, Six? Why'd you do it? He was offering you his sausage and everything. He was giving you his sausage. And not in a sexual way either. Whereas that could have been a she gnome. There's no way to tell, really. The important thing. That dang gummit was trying to help you, and you murdered him. Man, what's happening to this place? What is this place doing to her? Ooh, there's a, a cucumber riding a boat over there. At least I assume that's a cucumber riding a boat. It's a disturbing picture, as is the one next to it. Oh, boy. This place. Terrible. Awful. Horrible place. Ooh, someone smashed a mirror. Someone doesn't like themselves very much. And if I know anything about anything, and I don't, 
it's that you really shouldn't hate yourself. As hard as that can sound, or I mean, that sounds obvious, but sometimes, sometimes it's, uh, it's hard to love oneself, isn't it? But you gotta try. Because if you don't love yourself, then who's gonna love you at all? Probably people. I mean, like, don't, uh, don't underestimate the fact that you are probably loved. But, uh, yeah. Don't, uh, don't smash mirrors either. That's, like, seven years bad luck. Okay, there's blobby McDistortion face there. There's, uh, eyeball in the earball. There's, uh, oh. There's mother, but then there's a bunch of shadowy muffers next to her. I, uh, the one picture that's covered is obviously six. Like, it's gotta be six, right? You got some other people there. You got a pig. Uh, there's someone in a dress. There's also someone singing. I just noticed. Also, there's like the one place that doesn't seem completely monstrous. Like, the proportions are still all wrong, but, uh... They're kind of close. Wait, is that it? I saw a gnome over here. There was no gnome. Oh, oh and there's a statue there. Oh, and we're getting the heartbeats here. Okay, we do not want to- oh, and the camera's getting really wonky. Yeah, don't let Muffer see you. Muffer doesn't like it when you see her with her face off. Never let Muffer see you with her face off. Okay, let's just sneak by. We'll destroy that doll later. Oh my. Just, uh, sneakity sneakity here. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Easy. Yeah, you just sing. As you stare into the broken mirror of broken dreams. With the uh, covered portraits there. Or maybe that's just what Mother looked like before she, you know, put the mask on. Nobody cared who she was until she put on the mask. Oh, is that, is that six right there, uncovered? Who knows? There's also a guy wearing a hat. Hats are nice. People like hats. Hmm. I feel like there is a big revelation moment that's gonna be happening here in a moment. Let's climb into bed. Maybe Mother will come sing us a song. Boingy. 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 Oh. That's not what I intended. Urgh, climb on up. Okay, I see. Gotta push. Oh, and there's a key in there. I'm gonna grab that key. Oh, it's gotten very quiet. I don't like that at all. Oh, and I can't even see where she went. She just stopped singing. She didn't even come to look for it. She knows. She knows what's up. She knew I was here this whole time, didn't she? It's all... It's all been a trick. A trap. Luring us in with false hope. She's actually secretly that mannequin there in the corner. Was that mannequin always there? I bet it wasn't. Okay, let's climb up. Let's destroy the statue of Mother. Mother dearest. There we go. We have smashed it. We shall now pick up the key. We will continue sneaking along, even though she's one of the mannequins, isn't she? She's wait oh, she's hiding in the closet. She's waiting. Like, the, the closet, like, look how centrally located it is. It's, like, right there. The camera is, like, almost focusing on it. She's gonna explode out of the closet and go, SURPRISE! Well. Like, she didn't even, like, she didn't even come to check out what, uh, what made the noise. So she knows. Lover always knows. Lover always knows everything. Oh dear. Oh dear. But where did she go? Like she's just gone. I've got to find out. Like, this is where we came in. You know, I notice there's no call button for this elevator. So, does she, is she like, not able to leave until someone comes to get her? Kinda makes it imply that the lady is also just as much of a she's like just as big of a prisoner here as anyone else. Yeah, let's close the door. It, it locked itself behind us, didn't it? 
Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. There she is. That slightly darker mannequin right there. Oh, I don't want... Ah! 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 No! 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 Okay, it's too late. It's too late. She also spun my head right round, apparently. Huh. Alright. So, is the trick to just run, or is it... Oh god, there she is. Oh god, I got stuck. I got stuck! Okay. Is this a case of just running? Like, I feel like that would be too easy. If it was, just running. Alright, let's go. Okay. That's her right there. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. She's here again. Keep the lights on. Keep... Oh, God. She's so fast. Aha! Oh, my. Well. That, uh... Was terrifying. Indeed. Right, can I climb this? No. Okay. But she's waiting. She is waiting, and she is not very friendly. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wait, should I really be running, or should I be exploring? Egg-sploring. Looking for eggs. Yes. That's it. Find the eggs. Possibly of the Easter variety. I can't... I can't see. All right. This is a very large room. Mother likes to keep a lot of mannequins lying around, doesn't she? I mean, could be because she's so vain, possibly. Or, uh, or every one of those mannequins was a former mother. All mothers lost to the maw. I don't know, we're fury crafting here. And she clearly can't stand the sight of her own face, so that's, uh, that's not good. Probably. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Oh, we climb. Okay. Oh, is there a... No. We can climb it, but it doesn't get us where we need to go. Okay. Hmm. I have to jump and get to the closet. Oh! Oh, it's a mirror. We have to make her look at herself in the mirror. Of course. There she is. There she is. Mama! Mama, I've got a mirror for you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Aha! Oh my. Yeah, look at yourself in the mirror. Hurts, don't it? Okay. Okay. You must see yourself for what you truly are. For only once you've come to accept yourself can you truly be free. Exactly. There you go. That's right. Of course, you'd kind of figure she would, uh, you know, learn not to do this at some point. But, uh, you know what? I mean, Mother likes games of hide and seek and look in the mirror. Mother. Mother. Oh dear. Aha! Mother! 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 There you go. See, Mother? It's not that bad to see yourself in the mirror. You're okay. I mean, you're actually looking pretty good for a, a woman of your age. You know, of like 10,000. Which I assume you are because we've been playing this game over and over again. Forever. I mean, someday we've got to stop this game, Mother. Someday we have to act like grown-ups. Ah! Yes. Okay. One day, mother. One day. It's kind of interesting that, uh... I find it interesting that we actually know to do this. You know? And more specifically, that mother did not try to attack us until we did this. So 
So I think, it, in a way, this is what Mother wants. Also, it got very dark all of a sudden. Also, I think I heard the mirror break. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope Mother's not mad at us. Uh-oh. There's some glowiness. There's Mother. Okay. Oh god, we're hungry again. No, don't eat Mother. You're not supposed to eat Mother. I mean, we already ate a gnome. Surely. Okay. Oh, mother. I'm gonna go grab your mask over here. Yes, I think that's your mask. Or is this the mirror? Whatever it is, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, no. No, don't eat mother. I don't want to eat you, mother. But apparently, I have to. Oh, my. And so we learn I was the monster this whole time. So, uh, that was a shocking twist. Oh dear. Now I'm the mother now, aren't I? Okay. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Why did I eat mother? You're not supposed to eat your mother, kids. And even if she does try to kill you. I knew it. We become the mother now. We're the mother now. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Oh dear. Light, light your uh, thingy, my bob. And by thingy, my bob, I mean your your lighter. I wonder if I could have just walked away and not ate her. I feel like that would not have been an option. Oh dear. Okay, so we've come back down. We've eaten mother. This is actually the end of the game. All right, there's the uh, the fatties here. Oh my god! Okay, we just absorbed his soul. Hey, okay. absorbed her soul too. Uh, excuse me, you're kind of in the way. All right. Oh dear. You're just consuming them, all of them. You seriously, like you, like, you don't even notice what's happening. You're just like, huh, I really want to eat that kid. Even though, like, everyone that's approaching her is dying. So, um, are we pulling, like, a, was it John? No, it doesn't sound right. Mr. Coffee from Green Mile. It wasn't John Coffee. I forget his first name. Coffee. But, uh, you know, we're, like, sucking the sin out of all these people. They are innocent now. They are free. Oh dear. Oh dear. Seeing something in that in that reflection. We're out. We're free. And yet I feel like I don't know what I just did. You know, aside from eating a gnome that was trying to be our friend and then eating mother. Like, uh. Yeah. That's uh. That's certainly something. The, the peaceful, childlike music. It just... Oh, then there's all the gnomes back there. I feel bad for the gnomes, man. Like, they didn't do anything to deserve... Oh, oh, wait, are they free? Are the gnomes free? Yes, we free... Oh, wait, they're not leaving. I wouldn't want to leave with me either. It's like, geez, she hugs us and then she eats us? I don't want to do that. Are these all the gnomes I saved? And by saved, I mean I hugged. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well. Yeah. Oh, that is it. Well. That, uh... I can't help but feel that's got to be, like, the bad ending, right? <laughs> like, if we had found all the secrets, we might have, uh not had to eat mother? And by all the secrets, I mean if we had destroyed all the, uh... Oh, I think we did, we destroyed most, but probably not all of the statues. And I think we found most, but not all of the gnomes. Hmm. But, man. It's gonna be interesting reading the theories on just what the hell it was I just witnessed there. Well, I mean, I can't say 
getting stuck on a ship and then eating my own mother would be one of my childhood nightmares, but that is pretty nightmarish. And terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Why? Like, everything seemed to be going so well, but... This, you know what this now really makes me wonder? What the hell are we under that hood? Because I am suspecting... Like... Like, my theory now, now that I think about it, we didn't become Mother. We did end up eating Mother, though. But, uh... We must have been born on the Maw. Like, there's no way we're an ordinary human child. Like, no way. No way. But it's just so much that that sort of like that wonder, that question of like, how did we come to be there? Why were we there? And who what who were we? Who was six? I don't know. I have no idea. It's gonna be one of those things with more questions than answers. Like I mean, way back in the first episode, we did find that like secret area that showed us a little like recording of like two two children in a crib. Well, infants, babies, really. Which you could think was just a reference to that nursery area we've also found towards the beginning. But what if that's an indication that... I mean, there was us, six. Maybe that was a recording of us and someone else. Maybe that someone else was the lady. The lady became fully formed, like as an adult, and grew up. But we became... Like, we refused to grow up? We stayed as a child? And that ended up making us become cannibals or something? That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to piece the pieces together, and yet I feel like I'm probably missing some of the pieces, and I'm just, just finding myself wondering. Like, I love, I love the whole experience, but the question becomes, what the hell did I just do? What did I just experience? And I have repeated that like three times already, so you know it must be true. But, wow. So overall, I, I enjoyed the game. I, I, I would say that I probably agree with some of the criticisms that that side-on view occasionally... It occasionally led to some issues where I would get, like, my sense of depth and, like, where I was was a bit off. But it never really hindered the game, for the most part. It, it caused me to have a few unnecessary deaths, I think. But overall, it, it did sort of add to that, that sensation that you're playing in, like, a little dollhouse. Like, probably a dollhouse from hell. Tim Burton's dollhouse. Possibly. And... The music, like, I kept going on for the rest of the series. I mean, I love the music in this game. It was so... So understated, so simple. And yet... it That, sim that very simplicity. The, like, almost... Almost lack of music. With just, like, a few instruments. You know, like, just here and there. And I'll just, like, that... A horn, a drum. You know, or, uh... I can't think of it. I'm gonna say a tuba, but it's not a tuba. You know, there's just these occasional notes that really, without like a full song or anything really playing, that really, well, except for the guest hall. The guest hall kind of had its own little song of horror going on there, but like, very understated, and yet that very, like, the sort of understatedness made it all the stronger, which I, I really, really liked it. I think it worked really well. Art style, love that. I mean, just that sense of being in a world that is far too big for you. That is just, I mean, that's not even, I would say, not even unique to being a child. That's something that, to a certain extent, you carry with you your whole life, isn't it? The more, the more you learn of the world and the more you see of the world and experience, the more you realize how small a part you play in it. In fact, I'd almost argue, to a certain extent, as a child, at least, or a portion of your childhood, world is very small, just, you know, everything, the people and the places immediately around you, but as you get older and you start seeing just how small you really are, truly one of the horrors that comes of growing up, isn't it? I also love this song right here, it's from the trailer, but it has a very nice, uh, so innocent, so simple, and yet combined with the visuals and some of the stuff that the experience in this game, it kind of takes on a very sinister tone, doesn't it? Oh boy. Anyway, I don't know how long the credits are gonna play, but we are obviously gonna watch through them all because, you know, I think it's it's just a nice moment to reflect on what we just experienced. But like I 
said earlier, what I'm really gonna be looking forward to is just all the theory crafting. Like, just hearing what, what you guys have to say, reading in ever places of the internet, what people think, like, what did we just experience? And of course, going back and trying to unlock all the secrets we inevitably missed, because we at least missed a secret area in the kitchen, I am quite certain, that we passed over, and an area in the very first level where you fall through the floor. If I had remembered where that was and jumped at the right moment, we probably could have got over that. But, uh, I guess for now, for now, we are going to have to wait and see. Wait and see indeed. But, oh, yes. Like, a very short game, all things considered, but... I mean, it was... It was an experience that, in fact, like, it almost felt... Like, some games, they feel like, especially horror games, they feel like they outlive their, uh, their welcome. They outstay their welcome because you just get used to the mechanics and the monsters and whatnot. Like, I, from what I've seen of Outlast 2, for instance, I feel like that would be what I would kind of, like, I would feel it would outstay its welcome with the constant being chased and the, like, the, all, like, to a certain extent, I'd say over-the-top brutality, but then you have, like, little nightmares here, and it's so, it's so simple, it's so small, it, it, it leaves you wanting more because it, you know, it keeps its narrative very, very tight and very close and whatnot. It, set, it, it tells the story it wants to tell, and it gives you your challenges, but it, it doesn't it doesn't keep... It doesn't pad itself, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, I never felt like I was doing anything, like any unnecessary fetch questing. Even the, like, in the areas where you sort of, like, you go to one area and then you end up coming back to where you were before after you've changed something and solved a puzzle. That didn't really feel like unnecessary backtracking. It just felt like a natural progression. So the level design in this game, I feel, is really really good and whatnot and frankly i wouldn't have minded it there being an extra level or two but i mean sometimes it's better to be left wanting more i i, I hope we see more like this going forward i mean probably never a direct sequel to little nightmares but i wouldn't mind there being another game in this universe like a different setting maybe but the same kind of idea you know like a, a different telling Ooh, what's this now there we are! Wait, this is an island, not a, a moving mechanical monstrosity. Wait, can I move? Can I control six over there? Uh, the- oh no, just says thank you for playing. Alright. So that is all. And frankly, this <laughs> thank you for playing bit, it, it reminds me so much of the old games of yesteryear, which frankly were slightly a generation I'd say behind me, but I've still ended up playing a lot of, where, uh, you know, you, you beat the game and all you get is a winner is you. Congratulations. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go back. Back we shall go indeed. Also, my mouse is on the monitor there for a second. I'll get rid of that. Alrighty then. Let's see what we've unlocked for beating the game, because surely we have unlocked some secrets. Possibly. Alright. Resume game. Load game. New game. Extras. Masks. Okay, so there's the scarecrow mask and the teapot mask. We'll go with the teapot mask today. Or we can turn the masks off. We'll go with a teapot for any future playing concept art. What did we unlock here today? Ah. Ah. So, if I were to guess, this implies that we have. We only missed four. four secrets? Oh god, that is. that is horrible. Kind of makes you think, though. That tells you a little bit of a story, doesn't it, as well? You got some fat blob in a toy- or in a toilet. In a- oh god, there's like- that's not her hands, is it, in the tub? That's like something- something on top of her. That's terrifying. We've got the janitor here, Daddy Long Arms. We have the little bedroom. Oh, that looks so cute and cozy, like something out of a children's storybook, doesn't it? We've got the big ol' eyeballs. Got the leeches. I hate those guys. We have the gnomes. I feel so bad for that one gnome we ate. He deserves so much better. Never a little storybook image. I like these. I like that a lot. What else do we have here? We also have us uh, eating these guys again. These fat lummoxes. Oh, there were, wait, a third chef? There was gonna be three, apparently. 
Instead, there's only two. Actually, interestingly, in the concept art, we're actually a lot closer in size and scale to everything, aren't we? So depending on how early in the game that concept art is, it kind of makes you think about how we could have almost been, you know, similar in size to these things, instead of everything being so much bigger than us. But anyway, I think that's where we're going to wrap things up. I really, really enjoyed this game, and I am definitely going to have to go back and find the secrets that we missed on my own. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll record them and put together like a compilation video or something showing where you can find all the secrets for anyone interested in such guidance. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. Not entirely sure what new big things we'll have next on the channel, but this was quite the experience, wasn't it? I had such a good time, and I'm. I'm so sad it's over already. I wanted so much more. Yet probably if it went on too much longer, probably that might have not been the case, but what it was left me wanting more, so I hope we see more games like this in the not-too-distant future. But before I ramble on too long, that is going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.